I can't do this for too much longer because I'm starting to fog up my glasses. Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to another Geeky Weekend Show and Tell. It's actually more like a, a geeky month beginning show and tell, because the month already ended. I haven't done one of these videos in about a month because I've largely been busy reorganizing and re-optimizing the entire gnomestead, including the play shop. I didn't think I'd have uh, much more room for improvement here, but lo and behold, I was able to accommodate like three and a half more shelves, which means more Vaders in this room. Uh, I am going to go ahead and remove the helmet. because <sighs> It's really kind of hot in here, especially with the whole breathing into the scarf going on. Uh, this is something that I picked up because I wanted to have Darth Vader's face when I went out and about protecting people from my spittle. And uh, this was relatively cheap, but given that this is a very cheap material, it was probably overpriced. Uh, definitely not licensed at all. Uh, and uh, I, I like wearing things like this when I go out because sometimes uh, when, when somebody recognizes the type of mask I'm wearing, they smile or they laugh or they point, especially kids. When I picked up the Ewok uh, battle wagon, I had an extra battering ram. And this one's not in perfect shape. Uh, this one has got like a, uh, I guess, a dent or a cut in the, uh, the plastic uh, uh, top. But I'm going to see if I can trade this for a drum. Uh, not the Ewok Village drum, although I think it was the same mold, uh, but the one for the Ewok, uh, the Battle Wagon. Uh, and uh, I ended up getting this, I think, at a local pickup. Uh, I want to say it was like 50 bucks or something crazy, something insane, like in terms of price. And it came with the box, uh, largely com complete minus the drum. Um, but I have an extra battering ram that I'm, I'm going to be uh, probably be posting to my, uh, my groups to see if I can trade it for a piece or a part that I do need uh, from that set. So... Don't have a, a complete run on the vintage items, the vintage vehicles. I don't think I ever will. Uh, I kind of stopped after a while. There may be a couple of other pieces that I would want to pick up, like a, a vintage Millennium Falcon in good shape, as well as a shuttle Tidarium. Uh, but uh, by and large, I'm, I'm pretty much frozen in terms of like, okay, which, which vintage vehicles do I have room for? Which vintage vehicles might I want? Uh, I just took advantage of, of, of previous deals. I'm not going to show you those right now. No home tour, no home office tour, nothing like that on the horizon, but suffice it to say, uh, they have been reorganized. Uh, Star Wars is pretty much what I wanted to show you today, but before I show you Star Wars, let me go ahead and uh, show you that uh, the remainder of Wave 2 uh, for the Transformers series from Super 7 is now available. And uh, like I said before, uh, this is probably the only Transformers series of figures or figurines that I've ever wanted. Ever. <laughs> I do, there's just something about them. Like the classic 5 POA. Uh, here we have uh, Astro Train. This is a part of Wave 2. I showed you the first part of Wave 2 a few weeks ago uh, when they released that. This is the second part. And as I showed you on the, the back of uh, the, the Wave, uh, or the first, um, the, the first on the first uh, figure, uh, that's the Wave 1. This is Wave 2. Uh, I don't know if they're going to continue, but I certainly hope they do. Mirage, because there's so many Transformers uh, to collect, not to assemble. I just want to collect them. The only other Transformers I have, really, are the Star Wars ones. <laughs> the ones that actually transform uh, are the Star Wars ones. Uh, Shockwave. I do remember Shockwave. Uh, there are certain ones that I remember and certain ones that I don't. Maybe it was just when I was tuned in or when I tuned out, ultimately, uh, at the time uh, that the uh, the cartoon ran uh, but these are like near and dear to me. So these are these are going to be opened. I'm not going to open them uh, right now, but I will be opening them. There's a few things that I, I've already opened, but I I, uh, I I spared you the actual unboxing of them. Here's a clue. There's one clue. There's a second clue. A third clue. And a fourth clue. What could they be? What could they be? Pyrex now has Star Wars containers available. Glass containers. Uh, and they, these came in a set. Uh, I got the uh, the set, which did not come with the child. There's a Yoda with uh, lightsabers and uh, Chewie in the Millennium Falcon with his bandolier. You can mix and match the, uh, 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 the lids with other Pyrex uh, glass containers, glassware. Uh, these are their standard sizes, so nothing new in that sense. Uh, this one's Darth Vader with the TIE Fighter, his his TIE Fighter as well as a Death Star. And that's rectangular in shape with uh, C-3PO, BB-8, and R2-D2. 
So, yeah, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, Diana, we need, we need more Pyrex. I made the argument, and it worked. And uh, there's also, like I said, uh, if, if I, did, I think I said, there's also the child available. If I did not say it, I said it there. If I said it before, I apologize. I just got too excited with the glassware. Uh, but if you want, if you really, really, really want the child uh, on a plate or something like in the kitchen, you can get the paper plate child. Uh, these are now available. I've decided that for my birthday, for my 47th birthday, uh, it's going to be the child themed. Uh, these are the only ones that I found, I think, to this point. Uh, there, there's another uh, design, I'm sure, that's going to be produced for the uh, uh, disposable party wear. Uh, but uh, this is one particular theme with the child. Uh, you can also get the child cupcake rings, like 20 to uh, a package. I I was searching online for something else, and these kind of hit my radar. I'm like, what? Of course I had to have the child ring. You know, it's like... It's a power ring right there. Then there's also a table cover because you know you got to keep your table protected. Table cover. And then let's show that one next, I guess. Got to dump these out. The child cups, plastic cups. And you can see the razor crest back there. I don't know if they're actually going to have the Mandalorian. <laughs> In the child-themed stuff, uh, given that it is the Mandalorian show. Uh, but, you know, they're smart. Getting this stuff out. They, I'm telling you, the, the market's going to be under a deluge of the child merch at some point in the future. In order to get the free shipping on uh, on those party items, I had to get something I had to. Didn't want to pay shipping and handling, so I also ordered some uh, invitations. So consider this your personal invitation to uh, my party, if, if you want to come. Do you want to, Do you want to come to my party? I'm not, I'm, it's not going to be a big party. It's just, it, I don't even know if I'm having a party, really. Probably have some kind of vegan cake, though, for sure. Uh, so I needed, I needed, <laughs> to, get, needed to get the Darth Vader invitations. And I, I'm fairly confident I did not have this one, or these. Uh, unfortunately, the box came a little warped, so I may ended up uh, removing those from the containers. I dumped a few things out of the cup because uh, Diana has been uh, gleaning lately. Thank you, Jeff. Uh and as a part of that, she's found a few items that have been available for free, including toys. And so she picked up this bin of just random toys uh, the other week. And inside was a few surprises. I should say inside were a few surprises, including a Command Luke Skywalker. And then some five POA figures, seemingly largely... Uh, from uh, the uh, the Rebels line. You can definitely tell it's a Rebels-styled uh, Stormtrooper. You can tell by the design of the... the uh, Kanan. Kanan. Decent shape, too. Uh, Darth Maul and an Ahsoka. Shirtless Darth Maul. Is, is there a better Darth Maul out there? I ask you. And then an Inquisitor. Uh, not a part of that particular series, uh, but still just as much fun. A Boba Fett, modern. Uh, with you know super articulated seemingly as, as opposed to the five POA figures that I, I just showed you, uh, but pretty neat. And they were free. And I'm like, okay, well, Star Wars figures for free. Yeah, twist my arm, twist it. Go ahead, I dare you. Uh, so next, I need to, to show you something else. But Jedi ended up toddling off with it as soon as she realized where it went. I got her a pencil case because she had a, a, a backpack, the Mandalorian backpack that I, I'm pretty sure I showed you uh, the other week when it was released. And, and she had put her makeup brushes in the backpack and they were all over the place. I'm like, she needs some kind of pencil case. So I found a Rebels pencil case. And when I was searching for that, I ran into a couple of other uh, pencil cases that I did not have, including this lenticular Darth Vader with Stormtroopers. I love lenticulars. Love them. Including clouds. Love lenticular clouds. Not going to say that, well, are they my favorite cloud? Yeah, I'm, at a distance, a cumulonimbus is pretty neat. Uh, but lenticulars, you know, there, there's something to be said. Uh, so this one. And then this surprised me, the, the, the price. Uh, it is a vintage Darth Vader pencil case. Uh, you can see some discoloration, slight discoloration down there on the DAW right there. Uh, but uh, the, the fact that the, the token is still attached to the zipper, pretty impressive. Decent shape. Uh, and I think it was like right around five bucks for a vintage Darth Vader pencil case. I'm like, okay, again, twist my arm. I'll take it. So what do we have next? Uh, I'm going to continue with something that I'm not going to, I'm not actually going to change into these right now. 
Wait a minute, hang on, did they? Okay, I was like, did they send me the wrong one? Um, they did not. These are from Funko. Uh, well, I ordered them for around, around 10 bucks. Uh, VHS box style uh, t-shirt boxes. Uh, so inside uh, of, of these are t-shirts. And so the reason I got these, uh, not because I, you know, yeah, the, the boxes are neat. And of course I'll save the box. You can see like right at the top, Funko home video. Uh, but they're Darth Vader tees. So you can't have too many Darth Vader tees. That's that's my opinion. Uh, I don't think the lar they had larges available, uh, so I ended up getting the medium sizes. They, they, and I, I've mentioned this before, too. Like, I'm wearing a Funko t-shirt right now. This The, the great thing about Funko t-shirts, super soft, super comfy, uh, tagless. Uh, I, uh, unfortunately, though, they changed something where their mediums used to fit perfect on me. Like, perfect. And then they changed something where the mediums became smaller on me and larges were too big. And that really kind of upset me. I'm like, well, what am I supposed to get? So the mediums I could pr I could probably be fine with, uh, fine-ish with, um, but that's kind of disappointing that I have to go with, uh, uh, you know, a size that I'm not as happy with as I was uh, back when it was the old medium. So bring back the old medium, Funko. I doubt they will. Uh, next on the list of things, I mentioned home improvement. I didn't buy this recently, but something that I don't think I ever showed anybody. There is Star Wars licensed duct tape. Did you know that? Diana's always surprised. Like, you know, she always says, you know, I, just when I think, I've mentioned this before too, just when I think they can't get something Star Warsy, they come along and do something. They got duct tape. Star Wars duct tape. Obviously, I haven't opened it yet. I will. If I need to, I will open the Star Wars duct tape. It, it'll happen. Like, there we go. See? If I'm, am I holding it still enough? Oh gosh, you can see my horrible fingernails. I told you I've been working a lot. You can see all the dirt under my... I apologize for that. Don't don't look at don't look at here. I, okay, I'll just drink like this. I am gonna have to show you. That's that's the number one rule. Like if you're gonna be showing things on camera like that, like clip your nails. Ah, I again, I would like to formally apologize. Uh, okay, I'm going to break up the Star Warsness for just a second and uh, show everybody. Uh, something that, as I was doing some reorg, this was in there. Um, the uh, Metropolis Death to the Machines uh, C-3PO Inspiration, uh, the movie Metropolis. Another movie that I have not yet seen. Uh, so many uh, movies to catch up on. But uh, they also, Super 7 also produced this as a, uh, an exclusive at San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, Bob Fogarty uh, got a couple for me. And one I'm saving on card, and this is the one I intended to open, if only because it was bent at the top, but uh, it's styled like a Power of the Force card, and the uh, um, the figure itself, it looks like C-3PO. They're styled like C-3PO in the sense that you can see this is like a silver leg, as opposed to the rest of the, the golden uh, uh, f uh, figure, the golden uh, luster of uh, the uh, Maria robot. The robot Maria. It's a reaction figure. I love the line. Not everything from Reaction, though. I, I'm not going to... I definitely... A lot of the Reaction figures, I'm like, eh, not interested. Um, the, in fact, they just announced something yesterday that they're doing something with Disney. Super 7's doing something official with Disney. They've, they've had the uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, Super 7, or the uh, Reaction figures, that turned out very well. Uh, I didn't get the full series. I got a, a couple of the Jacks and a Sally. Um, but I, I am curious to know what else they're going to be producing in that line. Um, it'll be, it'll be, like I said, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Cause I, I'm not, I don't know if the, the classic Disney movies necessarily would warrant, um, you know, a, a, like a, a, a production of a figure, like the live action Disney movies. And I'm not sure I'm as excited about the cartoon figures as, as, as others. I mean, they've done the Peanuts line, which is kind of neat, but you know, I like Peanuts, but never enough to really, you know, get Peanuts thing, you know, items like figurines. They did a pretty good job with it, but. It's not my thing. We'll see that what they do with Disney. What I want them to do is produce five POA Star Wars figures, but I've been begging Hasbro to do that. Um, okay, speaking of... <laughs> fine. There's there's the segue. There's the segue you wanted. Not not the segue that you write on, but the, the segue here. Okay. Uh, I finally got the, uh, the, the rest of the Empire Wave... Uh, it came in, it was late, the retro uh, figures. Uh, this is something that a lot of collectors are very unhappy about because they have this big sticker right there. But it doesn't bother me. 
I, I, I'm going to keep them on card. Well, I'm going to open the ones I'm going to show you, if only because this one came, like, look at all bent and damaged and stuff. Like, what's up with that? But, uh, I got a Boba Fett. Uh, did I move other things? I did. Sorry, I had some small things on the desk, and I wanted to make sure I didn't knock them off the desk. Uh, I, I, I've been waiting to open this one for weeks. <laughs> now, I have the full run of, uh, the, the vintage figures. And, of course, you know, these are, they're not, oh, my God, this one's, oh, my jeez. Like, this one's so firm. Oh, man, you can't even, you can't, you can barely move its legs, but, man, oh. <laughs> oh isn't that wonderful? I mean, there are differences between the, the vintage uh, Boba Fett and, and this one. Uh, you know, if only, you know, you know, your COO on the legs uh, as well as the date, if there is one. Uh, but, uh, these are just, I, I can't, pa I can't, I can't pass up on them. If you throw a 3.75 inch scaled, uh, Star Wars figure in my direction, I'm going to snag it. These are going to say separate though, by and large, uh, from, uh, my vintage figures. I, I'm not, I'm not totally nuts. Uh, my full line is sitting up, oops. Okay. It's just a little disclaimer that now comes in the figures that dropped. I was just making sure it wasn't Yoda's accessory. Um, I don't think I ever had a Yoda on card. I know I didn't have a Boba Fett on card. Um, but this is, uh, the Orange Snake Yoda. It also comes with a cane right there. This is a part of the, uh, Walmart exclusive, unfortunate Walmart exclusive line. Ugh, this drives me nuts. I do remember opening a Han Solo from Hoth um, figure in the, in the vintage line. I do remember having I do I remember ha having all of them, uh, but certainly remember opening uh, this one. So this is the first time since I was a kid, since I uh, opened a Han Solo in, in, from Hoth. He's got, he's got an accessory too. I don't want to lose. Oof. Okay, let's put that there. I'll come back to it. Look at that, Han. You know the only thing that would have made this figure better? The only thing? Brown jacket. A brown jacket would have made this figure perfect. Like, per if I almost guarantee... I mean, some vintage collectors are pretty picky. But I almost guarantee that if they produced this Han Solo in a brown jacket, uh, I think collectors would have put the brown jacket Han Solo alongside... The the uh, the vintage uh, Han Solo with this blue style uh, uh, jacket because the the jacket looked blue but it was brown. Funny, huh? Uh, Lando Calrissian, and I I, I want to say there's already a variant of these retro uh, Landos, uh, which is kind of shocking, but it happens. Uh, Lando, I do remember having. I don't remember opening. I remember opening the Han. I don't remember opening the Lando. Here we go there the the funny thing is these the, the vinyl capes like they they if they're if they're not using the same material i'm shocked they're in, uh, like it, 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 you could look at this i mean outright i could tell you just by this lando i couldn't tell that the vinyl was uh modern or not really a repro but a modern um i could i i could tell you though that the lando is definitely a modern uh, the plastic on the, the the head is is it doesn't it doesn't have the same uh, type of uh, luster to it, so yeah, it, it looks different. the The head on that one looks different. A uh, Han Solo, I don't remember being uh, painted like this before. His skin is really peach. Um, the Yoda would be difficult to uh, discern, modern versus uh, or I guess this. Uh, this version, the the retro versus uh, vintage. Boba Fett, definitely, the plastic looks different as well. But at first glance, man, I mean, dude, this is perfect. The only thing that would have made this Boba Fett more perfect is, of course, a rocket firing mechanism on the back. That would have been... That that probably would have upset a lot of collectors, though, because you know, that's, that's worth a lot. Uh, and then I showed this last time, um, but this one I'm actually going to open. The, uh, the Luke Skywalker that was the exclusive with the Walmart... Uh, game actually it's not an exclusive you can also get it uh, elsewhere like on amazon uh, but this is the only time uh, that luke skywalker has been available in um, uh, snow speeder regalia 
in your, in his, his, as, as he was as a snow speeder pilot. Oh, it's trash on the floor. Looks a lot like the X-Wing pilot, but definitely not. Uh, if only because you can see the, the uh, eye, uh, his eyewear, his goggles are down. Uh, as opposed to the X-Wing, and then his gloves definitely seem pronounced uh, to be uh, different. I mean, he's he's dressed for the winter, you know, not just space. So that's that's the Luke Skywalker right there. I, you know, I, I don't, I want, I, 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 do, I, I've been thinking like, gosh, you know, I wish they would have done another one, but I, I thought, well, what, uh, what would be another popular character from Empire Strikes Back that was not produced, right? You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess, uh, you know, Tarkin was a, an easy win for A New Hope when they reproduced that. Or didn't reproduce it. They retroed it. Because it's not a reproduction. This is not a... Re this is a definite, genuine, non-reproduction. Like, it's original. It's just a, in the retro line. So it's, it should not be considered a part of the vintage line. I know I'm probably getting pedantic. This is another thing that I got this past week. I already had one, but it's still in the box. I didn't open it. Uh, this is uh, an electronic Funko. So you just tap the bobblehead, and then it, it lights up and makes sounds. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, is it is it cool? Yes, yes. He was saying yes. So, okay. Can you, 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 he's more doing like this, but you know, it's close enough. Okay, next. We'll take a take another break from Star Wars to to get happy. Uh, happy plugs. Now Diana has been asking for the longest time for uh, new wireless uh, earbuds, and uh, you know I was like waiting and waiting and waiting, uh, and and ultimately uh, said yes when Happy Plugs reached out and like said, "Hey, would you like to try the Happy Plugs?" I'm like, "I would. That would make my wife very happy." And indeed, they they sent a few. Uh, white ones, black ones, and some marble colored uh, or marble styled uh, plugs. They're, 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 this is what they are. They're plugs, and they are they, they make me happy uh, because they, again they sent them along. Uh, these are the Air Plus Black. I, I like the black ones personally. Diana yeah, more a fan of the white stuff. Uh, you know, not just from the Oreos. Oh 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 Oreo. Oh, What's in the middle? The white stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, these are available, and what makes these awesome and unique is that they are black, uh, certainly, but uh, what I liked about these is that they are available in a variety of colors, and specifically 40-hour uh, uh, battery life, dual microphones, wind noise reduction, sweat resistant, because, you know, if I'm wearing a mask, I could sweat, uh, premium audio quality, I've not tried these yet, uh, APTX-supported, Clear voice communication and 14 touch commands, and I think that's really what makes these uh, unique. Uh, beyond you know the average ear ear, ear pod, uh, let's see. I, I'm looking to see if I can find another bit of information that I wanted to share. Yeah, USB C. I wanted to see if I could verify something else, but I guess I will have to at a later time. I love the big case too. I love big cases. Oh come on. This is where I needed to grab the scissors because this is not going to cut it. Literally not going to cut it. Come on, Chris. Should I have pre-cut it? Okay, fine. If I cut myself, it's totally my fault. <laughs> I'm not going to blame anybody else. It's a nice hard plastic case. There we go. So the case, I'm going to pop them out individually here. It comes with everything you need, even the... Uh, uh, your uh, sleeves, uh, replacement sleeves for a perfect comfort fit. Uh, let's see what. Hang on. I'm seeing if there's an indicator outright showing left and right. I, I'm not the kind of person that, that necessarily wears these types of um, accessories around a lot. Um, I, I guess I could get used to it though. Like, just like, what do you think? It's very unobtrusive. Not they're not painful right now. Like, I don't feel discomfort wearing them. That's cool. Uh, the case is where and how you charge them. Pop out the case. Oh, it's, it's jammed in there, right? Hang on. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, there we go. It's because it was glued. There's there's some stickiness. It's sticky. Uh, USB-C with a charging indicator that illuminates as it is charging, which is really, really nice. Gives the instructions. 
how to pair them one two three very simple and they go in right there see there's the that's where they, that's that's where they lay so i'm, I'm going to try these um uh, you know if only to see if they're a good fit for me and uh, you, you know carry on the next uh, virtual teleconference that i have a virtual meeting they happen just about every day uh, if only so that i could walk around instead of having to be tethered to something else to see if if only because i, I with with these types of, of pods these buds these plugs uh i tend to um i tend to have some discomfort after a little while so that's my only concern diana never had that problem though um but uh they sit very very lightly and comfortably in the ear i don't feel like they're going to come out um uh, i'm not a connoisseur uh i these are the first plugs that i've ever owned so i'm just i'm going to put that out there period um because i i like i said i've always had some degree of discomfort after a brief period of time so we'll see if that continues jedi's upset because we were going to do the video together and and she was she was being a mm, let's just say a good five-year-old it didn't work out this week maybe next week okay so those are the plugs i must charge them up i must i must pair them oh bluetooth 5 okay that's what i was looking to verify has it uh, noted right there bluetooth 5.0 happy plugs air one plus very nice okay i'm gonna, gonna put those there do not want to confuse those with star wars accessories at all oh, it looked like they were it was it looked like they were sticking yeah look at that so it must be magnetic. The case is somewhat magnetic. That's cool. Wow. I was not expecting that. Nice touches. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I mentioned the child uh, earlier. Not the child that's not with me in this video because she's being an amazing five-year-old. Uh, but the child. Uh, and uh, Diana uh, uh, said that it was okay to get this. So we did. Uh, and so on our futon, we now have the child. The, uh, the comforter as well as the pillowcase with a pillow. You got to supply your own pillow. It's reversible, the comforter. Uh, not with this design, uh, but this is one design here. And then the other design is green there. Again, man, I, I apologize for this. Anyway, I'm very comfortable when I say that I sleep sometimes with Baby Yoda. Very comfortable which is apropos because it's a comforter. That is something that now exists. Uh, something that I got for Jedi, something that I was really hoping to be a surprise during the video. Um, she wanted this. She, she, sometimes she'll, she'll bring up Galaxy's Wedge. And so this was on sale half off the other day. I'm like, okay, I'll grab it. Uh, I had another one, but I, you know, haven't necessarily you know, used it a lot. We don't really hold on to cookbooks. Uh, but Jedi sometimes will ask for a cookbook, you know, if only to pretend. And so now she will be happy theoretically, uh, that she has a Galaxy's Wedge, that's what she says, Galaxy's Wedge cookbook, breads, soups and stews, sides and starters, oh, Galaxy's Wedge, can't wait to go back, I will one day, I just don't know when, unfortunately, do not know when, Dad? what, are you to I don't know, I might be talking to somebody, uh, you know, do you? uh not right now, because, hon, I'm I'm almost done. Please, Dad. I, honey, I, I'm almost done. No. I, I know, honey, but it ju it just didn't work out earlier. It didn't work out earlier. No, it didn't work out earlier. It, as as much as I wanted it to. Okay. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised that did not end in screaming. It could have ended in screaming. Uh I could have put a mask on her. That would not have helped. My brother has made masks, a variety of masks for folks. And uh, he used this material. Uh, Vader on one side, astronauts on the other. You can even slip in your own filter inside. Uh, but he's made a variety of these just to give out. Uh, and so uh, I, I have my brother's masks. This one, <laughs> I haven't worn as much because he, he changed the... Uh, not that I'm, you know, complaining because, you know, there's only so much you can complain about a free mask. But it's very, it, this one is very tight. Like, I have to, like, wear it, like, 
way up here in order for it to like be somewhat a comedy. I like it like way up here. Um, but it is it is on my face. It is not moving. But it's Vadery, huh? Yeah, you you like it? Is it, is it good? Yeah? Huh? Uh-huh. I feel safe ish. It doesn't protect you from everything, but uh, it's just nice to know there are people like my brother out there uh, who are helping other people who otherwise would not have a mask. He's not selling them anywhere. Otherwise, I'd, I'd pass along that link in social media. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to showcase here before wrapping up, uh, a couple of the new Black Series figures uh, are now available as a part of that wave. Count Dooku. This one I wasn't as excited about. Dooku is never really like a thing. Oh, yeah, I love Dooku. No, Dooku and the Clone Wars, amazing. Dooku in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, eh, nah, not really my jam. Like Grievous. Grievous in Revenge of the Sith, mm, not my thing. But Grievous in the Clone Wars, oh yeah, baby. So uh, yeah, if you haven't watched the Clone Wars, do. It's a must. Uh, Count Dooku is now available in uh, the 6-inch series. I will be opening uh, this one, just not at this time. Not right now. Uh, but I do want to open Commander Bly. Right there. Bly, now available in 6 inches. I want to open Bly. This is the one I was excited for. I'm always way more excited over uh, clones or you know, aliens or you know, any kind of character in a mask. Series 104 in the Black Series that's about to get rebooted again. Uh, they're changing the box art if you're not following the uh, the uh, the news. Uh, this is the old... This will be now be considered older Black Series. Uh, the new Black Series box art looks way more colorful, way more dynamic, way more amazing. Smaller, seemingly... Uh, in, in terms of size, so maybe it's saving s uh, some material, um, which is interesting to me, if only because it saves shelf space. Uh, but uh, Black Series is not going away at all. And hopefully the Vintage Collection will not go away either. Uh, unfortunately, the 5 POA stuff, I think, is gone, which is really, really sad. It's depressing to me because I love 5 POA. 5 POA forever. So Commander Bly has got the... the uh, Binoculars that slide down, or whatever the official term is for for the binoculars that slide down. I don't. What is that term? Fly? Yeah. No. Jedi's upset. Uh, he also has a, like a tunic of sorts, soft goods, right there. Fly. Fly. Oh. <laughs> That's a good figure. I, six inches. Yeah. I mean, I three three point seven five for the win. But you know, six inches grew on me. It grew on me. Uh, absolutely. Boy, his, why is his arm so swivelly? Also has a couple of pistols um, in his uh, holsters on each side. So it's nice that they put the accessories in there. Potentially to, I don't know, save space somehow? Optimize space? Just like what I've been doing around here. Boy, this is a nice dovetail into the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to continue to optimize by cleaning up the garbage that is around me, putting a lot of the stuff away that's been sitting here. Um, uh, there's a few more things that I definitely need to do uh, to get everything in order. And unfortunately, I a lot some of the the units that I needed to order for organization, like the like shelving, is now in back order. Like it's now uh, out of stock. I don't know when it's coming back in stock, and it's kind of upsetting because I was like, right now, I was like, okay, it's time. I should have pre-ordered it. I know. But I didn't want to bring too much in without knowing that it, things were ready, and now they're ready, and uh, uh. so uh, I'm going to go clean, I'm going to go organize, I'm going to go do that, and uh, you can continue about your day, or evening, or night, or whatever. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in to another uh, Geeky Weekend show and tell. Uh, these are the things that uh, allow me to escape, except for the mess that I now have to clean up. That I can't escape, that I... That I have to deal with, but uh, it's trash night, so serendipity. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. May the Force be with you, always.